Han dör. <skratt> Han dör så som var sulla. Just while, while, while I was coming to the prayer, I remembered a few ayah to remind the believers. And one day, Al-Arab, the Bedouin from the middle of the desert, they said, we are believers. What Allah told them, you are not a believer yet. You are just Muslims who said La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah. Big difference between a believer and somebody who embraced Islam. Between a believer and somebody who only do the five pillars of Islam. Big difference. This number one. The second ayah is reminding the believers again. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, aminu. O you believer, believe. Reminding the believers those believers are the companions or were the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu He's reminding them to review their belief. It's number two. The third one was Alam Ya'ni Ladina Amanu and Taksha al Qulbum Lidikrillah. Isn't it the, the, the right time for whom? For the believers who believe that their heart will be affected by what Allah revealed. So, reminding the believers again. Ya ayu ala ibn amanu aminu. Alam ta'alam ya ayu ibn amanu taqshak kulum dhikrillah. An khat alam amanna kulam tu'minu wa kulunu aslamna. The reminder is not only for anybody. It's for the believers. Who are the companions of the Prophet At the time of the Prophet the, the companions of the Prophet was that they are sahaba, sahaba, the ansar, everyone. You used to tell them one, one another, so to tell each one, Hayya no min sa'a. Let us go and sit down together to review and renew our belief for an hour in the day. And they used to complain the Prophet ﷺ by telling him, When we are with you, Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, we are like the people taken by the beauty of what you mentioned. By the depth of the Iman in your speech, you remind them, and even if the birds will see us, they will stand on our head, because we're just sitting still. But when we leave you, and go home, or go to the market, or go somewhere else, our Iman would not be the same. We go to have a relationship with our wife, with our children, fighting in the market. What the Prophet taught them, Sa'atun wa sa'a. You cannot be the same all the way. And this is the reality of belief. You cannot be the same all the way. Otherwise, if you become the same all the way, the angels of Allah SWT will come to the middle of the road and shake your hands. Why I'm saying this? Because you are custodian of the poor. You are the people who are looking after the poor. We are the people who are claiming that we help the poor. We are the people that were claiming that we are empowering the poor. We need to remind ourselves how to renew our mission. Because it's not one individual become complaining about us. It's every poor child, orphan, or a widow, or an elderly, or a sick man will come and complain to Allah SWT about you as Hani al-Banna, about you as Ahmad, about you as Ahmad, those people that tell Allah, they have failed us. Ya ayyuhu al I'm not going to say it as a, as a, as a, as a remind, as a, as a ayah, astaghfirullah, because it's not ayah. Or you claim that you are working for the poor, work for the poor. Renew the intention. Look at our hearts and what's in our hearts being affected by the agony and the need of the people. How many million people are now in Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and Malawi affected by the rain or the cycle, whatever you call it? How many people in the West African Sub-Sahara affected? How many people actually in Rohingya? How many people in Yemen? How many people in Syria? 
And you are supposed to be, and we are supposed to be the people who stand up for them. And this is where each and every one of us, male and female, to look at what deliver, what message they deliver, and what action they take. To conclude, Prophet said, "In Iman, in Iman, ma waqra fil qalb wa sadaqul amal." That's why the Prophet was telling that Allah was demanding all the companion believe, believe, believe. Oh, you believer, believe. Oh, you believer, believe. Oh, believer, believe. If the Iman is what is in your heart, okay, fine, good for you, but translated into community action. All what we do is about community action. In Somalia, in Niger, in Mali, in Chad, in Kenya, Pakistan, Afghanistan, everywhere. Whether there's a disaster or no disaster. Whether they are Muslims or no Muslims. This is a man. That's why the reminder of the Prophet Sallallahu to his companions, then the reminder of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala أَلَمْ يَأْنِي لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنْ تَخْشَعْ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَمَنَذَرَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ He is telling the companion, telling Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali and everyone, Hey! Wake up! Where's your heart? All this revelation from me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, coming to you. You know the truth now, and you are not actually standing up for it. For you, you are the followers of the prophets and the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And millions and millions of people are waiting for you. Let us translate our iman into community action. And this is the challenge. Whether I am a finance and program or media or what they call it, a legacy or legal, whatever, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. جزاكم الله خير ما الله بليس يو إن شاء الله يا أيها الأدنى أمنوا آمنوا أو يو بليفر بليف جزاكم الله خير والسلام عليكم